Hello everyone, welcome to Teach Tech Learning Hub. This is Mathematics 8. For today's discussion, we will be tackling about triangle inequalities. For triangles inequalities, we have three parts. Exterior angle inequality, triangle inequality theorem, and hinge theorem. First, let us discuss exterior angle inequality. We have key terms to remember. First, interior angle. Second, exterior angle. Third, remote angles. So on the right side, you can see the figure. We have here 70 degrees, 55 degrees, and another 55 degrees. As you can observe, all the angles inside the triangle are colored orange. These are called interior angles. So interior angles are angles inside a polygon that can add up to 180 degrees. So for the exterior angle, we have here the red angle, which is angle D. Just like the line BC, if we extend any of the sides of a triangle, it will form an outside or exterior angle. And you can see the blue colored angles, these are called the remote angles. Let us proceed to the next slide where we can define these angles. Let us define the key terms. Let us first go with interior angle. Interior angle is an angle formed when two sides of a polygon come together. Just like in the figure below, we have angle A, angle B, and angle C. Basically, an interior angle is an angle inside the polygon or any polygon. Next is the exterior angle. This is the angle between any side of a shape and the line extended from the side, just like the other side of our point C. But we will name angle D the exterior angle so that we won't be confused. You can see the red mark there. That is our exterior angle. Next is the remote angle. These are those that don't share a vertex or corner of a triangle with the exterior angle. Let me ask you, what is the angle adjacent to the angle D? Angle C, right? That's why angle A and angle B are the remote angles because they don't share a vertex or corner with the exterior angle. Let us now proceed to the theorem. For the exterior angle inequality theorem, we have three statements. First statement would be, the exterior angle theorem states that the measure of the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two remote angles of the triangle. So for the figure below, we have here angle A and angle B as our remote angles, right? So if we add angle A and angle B, we will, we will have a result of angle D. So if we invert the first triangle, we will get 70 degrees as the half. And if we move the same triangle, we will have 55 degrees. As you can notice, the blue angles. This is 70 degrees and 55 degrees. So if we add this up, it is 125 degrees. Now this is the measure of the exterior angle. Next.
The second statement states that the measure of any exterior angle of a triangle is greater than either of the opposite interior angles. So to summarize the statement we have here, angle A is less than angle D and angle B is less than angle D or angle D is greater than angle A and or angle D is greater than angle B. Since angle A and angle B are remote angles, individually their measure is smaller than the exterior angle. And for the third statement, we have the exterior angle and the adjacent angle are supplementary, meaning this is 180 degree. If we add up the angles. So we have 125 degrees for angle D and 55 degrees for angle C. That will sum up to 180 degrees. It is also stated here that all exterior angle of a triangle, take note of a triangle, sum up to 360 degrees. Just like the exterior angle of A, exterior angle of B, and exterior angle of C. If we add all, this will result to 360 degrees. Let us now proceed to our second part. We have here, Triangle Inequality Theorem. So for the second part, we have three theorems. First is the Triangle Inequality Theorem, which is side 1 plus side 2 is greater than side 3. So let us define the first theorem. The sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. For the figure below, we have triangle ABC. So if we add two sides like AB plus BC, it will be greater than line AC. Or AB plus AC greater than BC. Or AC plus BC greater than AB. Let's now try the numbers. We have here a triangle that has 6 cm, 4 cm, and 8 cm. For line AB, we have 6 cm. For line AC, we have 4 cm. And for BC, 8 cm. 6 cm plus 8 cm is greater than 4 cm. So 6 cm plus 8 cm is equal to 14 cm. So this triangle is true. Let's proceed. 6 cm plus 4 cm is greater than 8 cm. So if we add up 6 plus 10, I mean 4 is equal to 10 cm. So 10 cm is also greater than 8 cm. Let's proceed. 4 cm plus 8 cm is equal to 12 cm. 12 cm is greater than 6 cm. So this is how our triangle inequality theorem works. Let us go to the second theorem. Side angle theorem. If one side of a triangle is longer than a second side, then the angle opposite the first side is larger than the angle opposite the second side. So let us first learn or know what is the opposite side of a angle. So for the figure below, we have here figure EFG or triangle EFG. What is the opposite side of angle E? We have side FG or the one that has 15 centimeters. And for angle F, we have side EG that has 13 centimeters. And for angle G, we have side EF that has 9 centimeters. Okay? Those are the opposites of the angles and the side. Next, what side has the longest line or size or measurement? It is the line FG, right? In the statement, we have if one side of a triangle is longer than a second side, then the angle opposite the first side is larger than the angle opposite the second side meaning the longer the side the larger the angle I repeat the longer the opposite side 
the larger the opposite angle. So since line FG has 15 centimeters, therefore angle E has the largest angle, right? And angle G has the shortest angle because line EF has the shortest side which has 9 centimeters. So this is the side angle theorem. So the last theorem for triangle inequality is angle side theorem. So if one angle of a triangle is larger than a second angle, then the side opposite of the first angle is longer than the side opposite the second angle. This is just the same with the side angle theorem, but for this theorem, this is based on the angle. We have here three measurements of the angle. We have here 63 degrees, 60 degrees, and 57 degrees. Among the three, we have here E as the largest measurement angle. So meaning the opposite side of angle E is the longest line. Because as I said earlier, the larger the opposite angle, the larger the opposite side. So, let me ask you, which among the three angles has the shortest opposite side? So, it is the angle G because this has the 57 degrees, which is the smallest angle among the three. So, the opposite side, which is the line EF, is the smallest or the shortest side of the triangle. That's it for our triangle inequality. Let's proceed to the next discussion. We are down to our last but not the least triangle inequality hinge theorem. So hinge theorem. If two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, and the included angle of the first triangle is larger than the included angle of the second triangle, then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. For example, for the figure below, we have here line CB is equal to line FE. We also have here line AB is equal to line DE. But as you can observe, Angle B and angle E has different angles. For angle B, we have 50 degrees and for angle E, we have 45 degrees. So let me ask you, which among the two has a longer opposite side? Is it angle B or angle E? Since it was stated above that if the included angle of the first triangle is larger than the included angle of the second triangle, then the third side of the first triangle is longer. So meaning the answer is letter or angle B. Angle B has the longest opposite side. Because again, as I have mentioned earlier, the longer the side, the larger the Angle. That's it for the Triangle Inequalities. See you next time! Enjoyed and learned a lot? Please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell button to get notified whenever we post a new video.